Tulani and Banjwa and Sean Rubinstein are regarded by many as dark horses for the 2016 Doozy Canoe Marathon. Mbanjwa, the first black African winner of the 65-year-old race, and Rubenstein, a former world marathon champion and Olympian, have been putting the final touches on their preparations for the grueling three-day race from Pietermaritzburg to Durban and are eager to challenge for a podium finish. The 32-year-old Rubenstein says he's excited to give Doozy one last shot in the twilight of his paddling career. Every time we've jumped in the boat, now it's just been just been getting better and better. Um, Bungie came down and spent some time in the Cape with me, and I've been up here for three pre-races. So, yeah, I mean we've done we've done good work, and the boat's feeling great. And we'll only really see now in the, on Thursday on the start line. Mbanjwa, who hails from the Valley of a Thousand Hills, says that despite being a former winner of the event known as the greatest canoe race in the world, there's no added pressure on him and his partner. But the duo aren't there just to enjoy the KwaZulu Natal scenery. No, I don't think really there is much pressure. I think uh, myself and Sean, uh, uh, you know, I would be happy if we make it to a You know, um, Sean started uh, um, training uh, quite a bit late. And um, yeah, I think we're more relaxed. Um, just hoping to have a really, really good race and finish in the top five. So I know there's a few guys that are really, will be really tough guys to beat. And um, top five, happy. The lack of water in the Msundizi River is a major concern for the race organisers who will release water from the catchment dam to boost the levels. But Mbanjwa isn't too worried as all of the 2,000 paddlers taking part in the epic race will face the same conditions over the challenging three days. No, I think uh, um, I'm not really worried about the, the, the river being low. I think uh, uh, that everyone has to go through the same, same river, same channels, same everything. So I think actually it's, it's, uh, I think it will suit more guys that have done a bit of work tripping the river, give them that advantage. I've done a few trips uh, down the river, so I will take it as it comes. It is full, I'm happy. It's low, it's the same, so it's, I'm happy. Blue Lagoon behind me is where the 120 kilometer race will conclude on Saturday. It's a grueling, arduous journey for the paddlers and this is where Mbanjwa and Rubenstein will be hoping that they'll be in the mix for a podium finish at this year's Doozy Canoe Marathon. CS2 Plessis, CCTV, Durban.